Yo, what's going on, my people? King Rich is here back again with another live stream. Yeah, big up to all the old subscribers, new subscribers. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe subscribe button and make sure you notify. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the content over here. Yeah, I'm all jumbling up my words. Yeah, a little bit out of character, but I'm back. I'm back on form. Yeah. Um. Okay, everyone in the chat, shout out where you're listening from around the world, you know what we do, you know how it goes. Yeah, make sure you're hitting the like button. This is a very, very important live stream, right? This is a very, very important live stream. As you can see from the title, dating is hardest, hardest, most difficult, yeah, for average black men right now a lot of people will see this and they will they will look at the title and they will instantly disagree yeah i think a lot of people will see the title and agree but some will disagree and usually those will be either guys that are not in that demographic or it may be black guys who, let's just put it like this, they have superpowers. Yeah, we're talking about guys who are naturally very, very good looking. Or they have a lot of things going for them. So, you know, their perception may be like, oh, yeah, it's easy for black guys. It's easy for all black guys. But the, the truth is, it's not like that. Right? And let me just say this, even with um, the title of this video and the stuff I'm about to say, right, I always think there is opportunities. There are always opportunities. I'm not in the camp of guys who come on YouTube and talk about, oh, it's over. There's no way to succeed. There's no way out of my position. I'm not in that camp. There's always things you can do to improve your situation, right? And at the end of the day, I'm just here to report reality. That's what I feel like my job is, is to report reality so you're not going out into the world with some delusional, fairy tale Disney mindset. <clears throat> Or you're going out into the world and you've listened to the opinions of people who just frankly don't know what they're talking about. Yeah? And they're trying to sell you a dream. Alright? So, that's what my job is right here. Now, moderators in the chat, please be keeping an eye on what people write. If people are trying to derail the whole conversation or they're trying to grab everybody's attention by saying... Um, out of line stuff, please just time them out straight away. Alright? Alright, cool. So, what do I mean by this when I say dating is hardest for average black men? What, what exactly do I mean? Okay. Well, what I mean is the average guy who, you know, he's the middle of the road. He may be average in looks. He makes an average amount of money, you know, average social skills, average popularity, average everything, right? Now, in terms of men and the different ethnic groups of men, I believe that it will be the hardest for the average black guy. So that means dating will be somewhat easier for average non-black men over the average black guy now people some people from other demographics other ethnic groups will disagree that especially guys from other ethnic groups will disagree with that you know especially other minority groups they will say no we have it harder because 
you know, you, uh, black guys are perceived as cool, you know, you get representation in the media, blah, blah, blah. But actually, what you will find is that a lot of these, uh, a lot of this representation or these stereotypes which can be perceived as positive in the realm of dating, actually, it actually hurts the average black guy and it actually hurts the average black guy quite severely do you get what I'm saying now you know as as i've talked about in in my last video you know this whole high value man thing and you know you got guys talking about it women talking about it you know and really and truly it's redundant and silly because the vast majority of men on the planet regardless of race are not going to be this quote-unquote high value man but even with that being said this high value man uh label or title is being thrown around to the extent that now many many women of different varying levels and qualities are all wanting this same guy this same high value man and now we're in a we're in a, we're at a stage where it's like if you do not meet up to the requirement of this six figure earner you know or 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 crazy good looking or whatever like you don't matter or and you don't exist and you shouldn't feel like you should have any standards or you shouldn't feel like you 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 deserve the, the best in life like you you basically don't deserve anything until you become a superhero and i think that is absolutely ridiculous because when you look at other demographics and i'm specific keep, i'm making this specific to the usa and the uk because these are the two countries i know very well these are two countries i lived in these are two countries i've had girlfriends in dated one night stands gone to clubs been rejected you know all of these kind of things i've had a lot of experience what you find is that men of other ethnic groups and ethnic minorities seem to be able to still date even if they're average and still date decent looking women decent looking girls this is not a fluke you know what i'm saying this is not a fluke at all right why do you think that so many of these uh, dating coach channels are so huge. Why do you think that the quote unquote manosphere is so huge? Because there's a lot of black guys out there who are not winning when it comes to dating a lot. And they don't really get much representation. No, do you know what they get? They get called lame. They get laughed at. Because as I said, Black guys in the media, we get the stereotype of we're all ladies men. We all got an abundance of women. We all got stables of girls all chasing us. We're all guys that are, are you know, having babies all over the place. We're all cheating because we, we, we're, we easily get girlfriends and then we easily get with other girls to cheat on with. Like, bro, it's, it's not true. It's actually not true. And this goes for whether you're in a modern, you know, mixed environment or you're in a densely uh, a black environment or you're even in an environment like where I'm at currently where it's predominantly non-black. In my opinion, I would say for a black guy to be successful dating yeah successful how to, to to have some consistent success dating he will need superpowers bro he will need superpowers 1000 percent. and let me just shout out the super chat 
Uh, big up Nathan. Um, he said, Black Superman complex. We always have to be better than average just to get a decent average girl. And I held to narrow stereotypes. We must fall into it. We must fall into too much. Absolutely. Absolutely. You said it in, all in one, bro. Like, think about this whole high value man. Like, trend really this high because because think about it from the beginning of time women have always practiced hypergamy women are always want to date up they always want to date a guy that's that could probably um level their life up yeah well women will always want to date a guy with resources or good ge genetics or so a guy that can protect them etc etc that's nothing new yeah but this whole trend that this current trend we have with this high value man thing, yeah, it's basically when you think about it, it's only really circulating amongst black people. It's only really circulating amongst us, really. You know, I, I'm yet to really see non-black people banging on and on and on, whether it be the men or the women. Like banging on and on and on about how they, they, they either need to be a high value man or they're seeking a high value man. Like, bro, it's, it's, it's nature. But I feel like this, this whole high value man trend, it really, it may not be that, um, intentionally to degrade the average man, but it does. I've heard content creators come out and say, you know, if you're an average guy, you know, you, you, you don't deserve anything and blah, blah, blah. These are guys saying it, that you don't deserve anything and, you know, if you're average, your life is, is, is crap and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, bro, like, at the end of the day, it's the average men that actually make the world go round. If it wasn't for the average tradesmen, the average road workers bricklayers police teachers you know the nurses the like bro like the world would not be able to function bro like now let me let me make this very clear and big up to uh call me a pick me podcast for the super sticker keep it up i appreciate that i appreciate that and you lot make sure you support this whether you're a high value man or average man, make sure you support this stream. Because this is very important. This is very important. Make sure you're hitting the like button. There's not enough likes on the video. Why do I always have to beg you lot to hit the like button? I don't understand. Like, we should be on 100 likes straight away. There's 147 of you watching and we're only at 60 likes. And now that I ask for people to hit the like button, they hit it and then the viewers go up. It's a very simple equation. Now, back to what I'm saying. Back to what I'm saying. Yeah. At the end of the day, without the average man doing the, the jobs that are not white collar, doing the jobs that don't necessarily make them a six figures over the year, bro, they do the work that is required for society to keep going. And I think that when when, when people come out and they start talking down on, on the average guy who, who does, who, who probably still working hard, I think is very offensive, to be honest. I think it's very offensive. And as I was going to say before I got derailed a bit, I'm not saying that um, as a man, you should be happy being average or happy being mediocre or settle for being mediocre and average. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, listen, it's every man's duty to himself to push himself as, as far as he can. Every guy should be pushing to get as much power in his life as he can. You know, you guys have heard me talk about getting power so many times. Financial, physical, mental and social. I, I, I preach that all the time. 
But at the same time, even though you're getting power, even though you become successful, even, even when you become this high value man, high earner guy, that doesn't give you license to go and talk down on the, on the average guys who do the jobs that you probably don't want to do. Listen to what I'm saying. It doesn't give you the license because you become successful, yeah? It doesn't give you the license to talk down on the men that do the jobs that are necessary for the society to run and the jobs that you probably don't want to do. And this goes for you women as well that like to talk down on guys trying to act like if a guy is not a millionaire, he doesn't deserve a woman, he doesn't deserve a girlfriend, he doesn't deserve to date. Bruh. More time, that average man is doing the things that, that actually enable you to be in a position to speak. Who built your house? Who set up the, 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 the utilities in your house? When something goes wrong in, in any aspect of your life, car, house, whatever, who are you going to call? If you get in trouble, who are you going to call when you need a service? It's probably going to be one of these guys. So maybe you should be a little bit more humble. Men and women. I'm sick of these content creators and they're talking like they're millionaires. Because they're jumping on a trend. Jumping on a trend, bro. See me, I never claimed this high value man thing. Never. I don't claim any label, bro. I just I'm just a part of reality. That's what it is. So again, as I said, I'm not saying that guys should be happy being mediocre and average. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, the majority of men on this planet are going to be average. Yeah? At varying degrees. Some a little bit less, some a little bit more. And then you're going to have that really top small percentile that are quote unquote high earners, high value. But they don't make the world turn. They don't make society run more, more, most of the time. But anyway, moving on. And let's continue to get the likes up on the video. A big up to... Uh, David for the super chat, he said, big up King Riches, yo, get the likes up, that's what I'm talking about, get the likes up, um, and big up to Michael for the super chat, he says, shout out to the sewage workers, you are so important, that's a crazy thing you would say, but that's actually very true, and if you have a question for me, you can hit it in the super chat, like, I, I, I noticed some people come into the, the chat, they want to try and get my attention. They want to, you know, say out of line stuff or they're trying to be funny or whatever. I'm not going to address you. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to address you. Like, you can hit the super chat and support the stream or don't, don't, don't try and get my attention. Do not try to highlight my name. That will get you blocked. Simple. Yeah. Big up Daniel for the super chat. Yeah, he says, always strive for better, brothers, whether you average or not. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Especially if you're somebody that you've never supported. I don't really see you in my in my live streams. And then you want to try and just ask me a question when, when other people are hitting the super chat. You're not special, bruv. Simple. So anyway, um, yeah. So let's get let's get into it. First thing is first, it, within our own community as black people, right? Within our own community. You know, there's a term called Tyrone. <laughs> there's a term called a Tyrone. Yeah? When we refer to this term, we're usually talking about a black guy who has won the genetic lottery. A black guy who has won 
the genetic lottery, i.e. this guy may be over six foot tall. You know, he may have just always been one of the tallest that uh, it, from from day one. You know, now we know that for a guy, and we're talking about on the planet, and this is for all men, yeah? For a guy to be over six foot is quite a small percentage of the population of men on this planet. But what do we hear a lot? We hear a lot of women of all different races saying they, they're desperate to get a guy that is over six foot. This is heightened in the black community because on average black people tend to be taller than other other demographics you know you, you know we just tend to be more to, to, to be taller yeah so this little requirement here is inflated within amongst black people all you need to do is go on your favorite dating app and you will see in girls' bios, they say specifically, I want a guy that is over six foot. The woman herself may be five foot nothing, but she's still demanding a guy that's over six foot. And that is very prevalent amongst us, our sisters. <laughs> but anyway, that's just one aspect. So the genetic lottery, right? Boom. So... Also, obviously, like really good looks, strong jawline, perfect hairline, perfect eyes, nose, teeth. You know, teeth can be, you know, uh, managed. But yeah, just good looking. Now think about this. What do you think the percentage of good looking, good looking, attractive men is out there? Because I can guarantee it can't be that high, bro. It can't be that high. Because if it was that high, then the attractive Tyrones would be the average. Obviously, it's not. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? So, that aspect there already... It affects all men. But... Especially with like sports. It affects black men to a high heightened degree. Like especially with the sports aspect. You know whenever they show uh, uh, black guys in, in athletes and stuff like that. Which which is one of the, one of the two specific uh, stereotypes they like to show. Or one of the three specific stereotypes they like to show. You know they always show like these tall, super tall, super muscular, super athletic black guys. Like, like LeBron James. Like you know whoever. Whoever you want to think of. Yeah. But is that average though? Is that average? Super elite black male athletes. Is that average? Is Anthony Joshua average? Is Deontay Wilder average? Do you get what I'm saying? It's just like... No, bro. But you got to understand one thing about media and black men. Whatever they put out in the media is what the whole world perceives all of us to be. Like, you need to really clock onto this. Like, most demographics outside of us perceive us to all, to, to all of us being the same guy. We're all LeBron James. We're all Anthony Joshua. We're all Deontay Wilder. We're all Lamar Jackson. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's just like you really have to understand why I'm even talking about the athletes and and uh, you know all these stereotypes. You got you got to really understand why it's so significant and why it actually goes against the average black guy. Because the average black guy does not fall in that category of the super tall, super athletic dude that they like to spool over all over TV.
Real talk. Then, there's the element of thug life. <laughs> the thug life element. Thug life, bro. Honestly, let me ask you lot in the chat, you lot watching. Do you think the average black guy is a thug or career criminal? Press 1 if you say yes. Press, press two if you say no. Do you think the average black guy walking around is a, a is a, a a thug, gang, 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 or career criminal? What do you think? Press one if you think yes. Press two if you say no. I see loads of twos. Someone said 50-50. But it's overwhelmingly twos. Which is the sensible thing to say. Right? At the end of the day, what do we see in the media? And you got you to gotta understand, the media is very important in this issue. Because women are very, very focused on media. Very, very focused. If the media comes out and says King Riches is a heartthrob and he's so good looking and attractive, guess what? My DMs are going to start getting flooded. This is by, by women who want to date me. I'm telling you, this is how it works, bro. So, in the media, what is, the, what is one of the main archetypes that they like to show of the black man? They like to show the career criminal thug. Either they show him in the style of a rapper or they show him in the style of just a straight up criminal. A criminal who doesn't care about anything. He lives his life on the line. He doesn't take ish from nobody. He makes fast money. You know, he's dangerous. He's exciting. All of these crazy things. When really, that archetype is just a dysfunctional, emotional, uh, you know, mess. Someone who will end up in a jail or in the ground. But yet and still, if you look at popular media, they love to show the black guy as... Uh, criminal, career criminal, thug, gang, gang, gang. You don't have to go too far to see it. In fact, most of you lot watching, your favourite rapper, he is that archetype. Even if he lives it in real life or he doesn't, he is that archetype. Think about it, bruh. Think about it. And, and so, if we know that they like to show this specific caricature of a black guy, like, very, like, all the time, like, this is very common, but at the same time, we know that that is not the average black guy walking around, that causes an issue, <laughs> that causes a problem. Because, yes, all these little girls watching these, these, these images and, and they are bombarded by these images and, it, and it's making it look like it's cool. It's making these guys look attractive. Guess what these girls grow up to want and guess what? Guess what? Guess who these girls grow up to want to date? They want to date thugs. They want to date hood dudes. They don't want to date guys that do 9 to 5. I've done videos, reaction videos, where girls' sisters from our community have said with a straight face, they don't want to date a guy that does 9 to 5. And they're talking about black guys. They say, they, they actually come out and say that they want to date guys that are from the hood. They want to date hood dudes. 
They start making excuses. Oh, a hood dude will actually treat you nice, you know. So a lot of hood dudes will treat you good. Like, bruh, you want to ruin your life. Like, you actually are basically saying you you would prefer to, to, to ruin your life, bro. Because the likelihood of your, your life derailing if you date a hood guy is significantly higher than if you date a guy that does a 9 to 5 or a guy that's normal. Like, let's keep it real. You know, all in the media, what, what they always show black guys hyper-materialistic. Hyper-materialistic. Black guy has to have the latest German car. Black guys have to have about 15 chains around his neck. Wearing all these Italian designer brands. And on another note, giving away money to other demographics that don't like us. But that's another topic. That's another topic. But, yeah, just hyper-materialism. So now, if you're a guy and you don't make enough money to go and buy all of this rubbish, now you're broke. You could be a guy with your own place, your own car, paying all your bills, responsible, legitimate. But, bro, it's just not good enough. You're now boring. You're perceived as boring. You don't have that extra edge to you. You don't have that that element of, oh, if he gets crazy, if he gets angry, he could do something really crazy. People need to be scared of him. I remember so many times I've heard I've heard sisters say stuff like, oh, um, I like I like hood guys, I like these kind of gang guys because they make me feel protected. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Any guy, any man can protect you. A guy doesn't need to be a career criminal before he has the instinct to protect his woman. Like, I, I just, it's just, it's just a joke, really. It's a joke. Let me just shout out the super chats real quick before I forget. Um, let me see where we at. All right, big up to Project for the super chat. He says, let her remove all that refakery and see if she is above average. These women are out of hand, Kim, which is out of hand. I hear you, man. I hear you, man. It's just like when, when you hear women say they want a real man, but nothing, <laughs> nothing they're wearing is real at all. It's just a joke. We got Rizzy Ray for the super chat. People that keep society running like builders and construction workers are more invaluable than all of these athletes. Exactly. And to be honest, a lot of times when these, when people, individuals, start banging on about um, high value pe men and high value earners, they, they, you, listen, in reality, you are including rappers, athletes, entertainers, people who do not bring any tangible value to the running of society. They don't bring any tangible, tangible value to society, bruv. But those are the most sought after men. Those are the guys that get all the respect. Sad, bro. And that's why our, like, you know, our community seems to just not really move forward. Focused on all the wrong things. Uh, big up to Mars Marrow for the super chat. Don't be a square. Like and share. <laughs> Thumbs up. Hey, big up to Mars Marrow. Yeah, hey, make sure the likes are up. Hey, let's get the likes up on the video. Let's get over 200 likes in here, man. I shouldn't have to beg you lot to hit the like button. It is not fair, bro. It is absolutely out of out of order that I have to always beg you lot to hit the like button. Yeah, we should be over well over 200 likes already. There's 270 70 odd of you in here. 
So 70 of you, over 70 of you are just sitting there not doing nothing. Hit the like button, man. Alright, cool. Big up Fanatics for the super chat. Would you date a girl that has shoe size 10 or more? Like, what? Bro, I, I don't even know what that's got to do with it. So, I can't really answer that at this point. Big up Pretty Ninja for the super chat. Females hear average as an insult because they are always catered to. And no one can keep it real. Adding simping equals delusional females. This is the thing. It's like... It's like average is average is seen as bad, even though average is the majority. That's why it's average. <laughs> like it's crazy, bro. Like it's crazy. I just think, you know, you need to know where you're you're at in life, and then you know, and then strive to improve your situation. Strive to improve your situation, but don't look down on. The word average or think some weird connotation to it you know what I'm saying average is average because that's the majority that's the majority of people that's the average of of the people like do you know what I'm saying like it's not saying you're ugly or it's not saying you're broke it's just saying that's the average I, I don't know why people have just added this negative connotation like it's oh my god average oh my god it's an insult it's not an insult bro it just it is what it is that's all uh, big up pretty ninja. Big up John for the super chat. Rapper, trapper, athlete, or entertainer. Anything else? You're an alien. This is this is what I'm saying. It's just like for us black guys in particular, we're working with par parameters that other men don't deal with. And this was something I was gonna. Um, this was a point I was gonna make later on. That at the end of the day, you know, other ethnic minority men, they're gonna, they will probably say no. Black guys don't have it harder. We have it hardest. But the 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 point is, we deal with parameters that you don't have to deal with. We deal with factors that are just non-existent in your community. Non-existent, bruv. Like the closest of our demographic who somewhat deal with similar stereotypes is probably um, Latinos, like South American. But even it's not even near. It's not even close, bro. Like you know, it's not even close, bro. Because at, bro, at the end of the day, you could be a Latino guy. You know, no, no matter where you are. Be legitimate, be normal, yeah, and still get a decent girl. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen it, bro. Like, so, like, it's not the same, bro. And it's goes, that's the same for Asians or whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause because usually when I hear when I do get pushback about this from um other men from ethnic minorities, it's usually like Asian guys that come and say, Oh, we have it harder, but bro, not within your own community not within your own community and that is what and uh, that is what tips the the scale because within your own community you don't have to be a thug you don't have to be thug life yeah we already we just had an example of that with will smith and jada pinkett smith Will Smith was Will Smith, who's got a squeaky clean image. He's a high earner, successful, all of these things. Yeah, very successful human being. He still felt compelled to go and assault another man on the behalf of a woman, his woman, his wife. Bro, you lot don't face that, bro. You lot don't face that. Real talk. But, um, okay, let me get back to the super chats. I right, get the likes up on the video. We should be at 250 right now. Let's get the likes up on the video. Um, Big up Omar for the super chat. You never see an average black guy in the media. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. The average black guy, just the average five foot eight black guy, average looking, average money, like winning. When, like, when do you see the average black guy in the media winning, winning, 
getting the girl of his dreams and the girl of his dreams likes him and they have some romance <laughs> a, 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 a lovely uh, plain smooth romance when do you ever see that never when, do, when, when does the story of the average black black man ever get told in the media never never in fact on another on another note how many black superhero movies are there out there successful black superhero movies that are out there <laughs> that's this is this is a little detour how many successful black male black superhero movies are out there let's take out take out uh black panther because i know that's the first one everyone thinks of black panther Blade, um, that's it really, who else is there, Spawn, like, and, bruh, just, 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 just B movies at best, bro, B, B, <laughs> C class superheroes, bro, let's keep it true, Falcon was, was, was Captain America's sidekick, <laughs> and that's another thing this is why you gotta understand this thing yeah because there, there would even be some white like you know quote unquote average white guys that will say no we, we have it just as bad as you actually no you don't bruv no you don't because in media and in real life you see the story of an average white guy and he can and he can win The story average white guy and he can win bro he doesn't need to be six foot nine he doesn't need to be running as fast as the wind he doesn't need to be in a ring knocking everybody out he doesn't need to be a career criminal he doesn't need to be a rapper and he doesn't necessarily need to jump out of a bugatti think about it blood he doesn't need to have this crazy hood element to him. He doesn't need to to uh, be compelled to go to the Oscars and slap another comedian on the stage on live TV. No. So it's not the same, bruv. It's not the same at all. Yeah. So... Yeah, man, within our own community, it's difficult. You know, nice guys finish last. And I know that goes across the board. But in particular for us black black guys, <laughs> being a nice guy is not going to work, fam. It ain't going to work, bro. You're going to get run over, bruv. I'm telling you. You're going to get your heart broke. Girls are going to cheat on you. Girls are going to use you. Bro, they're gonna, they, bro. Even if you can get a girl, you're gonna get rejected a lot. You're gonna get friend zoned, bro. It, it don't work with us, bro. Like, and again, it goes back to this media representation, this media image. Because again, all of us black guys are the same guy. So if you don't fall into that category of rapper, athlete, thug, whatever, it's like you're an anomaly. You're you're an alien. You're you're out of the norm. Like. You're weird, you're lame, you're square, you're, you know, like, ugh, what are you? Yeah, bro. I tell you, when I was younger, when I was, when I was like high school, early high school years, bro, I was a nice little boy, man. I was a nice little boy, used to go to church with my mum on the Sundays, you know, Good boy, you know. I I didn't I didn't really have any scumbag thoughts in my mind. You know, I, I, I used to, you know, you know when you're young you have these romantic, like daydreaming, romantic about oh when I get a girlfriend, you know, it's gonna be so nice. We're gonna go walk hand in hand and we're gonna kiss and hug each other. Like and I'm not talking about anything nasty, I'm just talking about like, you know, just romantic. You know, and she's going to like me and I'm going to like her and then we're going to be together forever. <laughs> ah, 
I know I'm not the only one that used to have those those delusional fantasies, bruv. Press one if you used to think like that when you was younger. Until until reality slapped you across the face, bruv. <laughs> until until the, the girl that you had a crush on crushed your dreams, bruv. Crushed you. And then and then you saw the type of guys that the girls the girl you liked, that you saw the type of guys that she liked. Yeah, because that happened to me. It happened to me very young, bro. And I learned very young, bro, like. Because the girls I liked seemed to like bad boys. Quite, quite cons consistently, bro. <laughs> it was, this was a consistent pattern I was noticing. Like, all these bad boys in my area who were known for doing bad things and, you know, they had bad attitudes. A lot of these boys were just straight up rude to these girls. And these girls seemed to love them. Yeah. Giving up the number straight away. Linking up with them straight away. All of that. And li listen. I learned quick. I had to switch my game up, bro. This nice guy, romantic guy thing. I'm sorry. It, it, it wasn't working, cuz. I'll never forget when the girl around the corner from my house who said, yeah, she would go to, the, to go watch the movies with me to the cinema. And then she just ghosted me on the day. And I called her like four or five times, left about seven text messages and got nothing back. Oh, yeah. And I was everything. I was only nice to that girl. Only. And, and I'm not going to lie. It hurt, bro. But I learned a valuable lesson that 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 strategy was not going to work. It, they didn't appreciate it. They didn't want it. You, as a black guy, you can't do that. You can't get away with that. It doesn't matter if your your non-black friends can do it and they get through with their women. It doesn't matter because you, black guy, you can't get away with that, bruv. It don't work. It don't work, fam. <laughs> it don't work, fam. All right, big up to um, Oguchi. For the super chat, is the dating market for average black men in the UK hard or the same as the USA? Bro, we're all in the western side of the world. We're all westernized, bro. Like, you lot need to understand. UK and USA is more or less the same pressures for us black people. Yeah, it's the same kind of pressures because it, it's the same... Let me put it like this. Like, the USA and the UK is the same umbrella. The USA and the UK are under the same umbrella. They're allies. The USA and the UK are allies. They are concrete. They're like that. So don't be surprised when I talk about things and they cross they cross over. Like it's, it happens in the UK and it happens in the USA. A lot of you lot don't really understand that because you don't really get you, you don't really uh get to see. For yourselves what it's like unless you go on holiday or you spend an extended amount of time but a lot of the, the issues are the, like more or less the same it's just different accent maybe slightly different tweaks but the fundamentals are the same you know and 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 the the, the negative outcomes are the same bruv you get what i'm saying so yeah uh big up to daniel for another super chat he says average is normal nothing bad but be better yeah this is what i'm saying like the whole average thing it shouldn't be seen as a necessarily negative connotation. It shouldn't have a negative connotation to it. It should just be a thing of, okay, you're middle of the road. Like, now try and push further. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, push, push your life to its full potential. To the best of your ability, bro. But don't, I don't think it's fair for, for YouTubers and, and selfish, entitled individuals to start talking down on, oh, you're average, you're not good enough for me, or you're not good enough and you don't deserve anything good. And, bro, like, get out of here, bro. I'm not hearing that, bro. I'm not hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big up, pick me, call me a pick me podcast for another super chat. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and big up HQTV for the super chat. King Rich is the ambassador of anti-movement. <laughs> big up. I hear you, bro. I appreciate that. 
Yo, let's get the likes up on the video, man. Get, keep getting the likes up. You'll get more people in here. All right? So, yeah, like, the fog element. Yeah? The fog element. And, you know, just other little stereotypes, like, like, oh, like, if you're a black guy, that means you're funny. That means you can dance. That means, like, you're super smooth. You got super game. Like, you say, you say all the right words. You know, um, you you've got you've got like fifteen inches. You're walking around with fifteen inches and stuff like this. Like all these stereotypes, which, as again, other demographics will be like that's a good stereotype because girls will assume your, like women will see those as attractive. But those stereotypes are not the norm. So what happens is the normal guy, the typical guy, the average guy. Is seen as less than. Do you not understand what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm really hoping you're understanding what I'm saying right now. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Now again, when I say all these things, I'm not saying it in a way where you know, oh, there's no opportunities out there for a black man that's average. Obviously not. There's average black guys that get married, that have girlfriends and all of that stuff. I'm not in the camp of, it's over. I'm not in that camp, bruv. I don't believe in that. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in that. I think that everybody's got opportunity to do something. Now, now I'll be honest with you. I do believe it's going to be a lot... The, I believe it's the most difficult for the average black guy. It's the most difficult. But there's always an opportunity. And to be honest with you, maybe that opportunity might be with a chick that may not be your first choice or your second choice, bro. I'm just being honest with you. And, and this is why it's so important that you self-improve and try to reach your maximum peak your maximum potential so that you can go for the maximum of what you want in life, if that makes sense. That's just how it is, bro. So anyway, moving on, yeah? The most crucial part of this, which I want even other men of other demographics and, and uh, ethnic minorities to understand, is that the reason why it's harder for the black man the average black man than it is for average men of other ethnic minorities is because we have so many pressures within our community within our own with, with our own women that you can't compare do you know what i'm saying when we talk about our men of other ethnic minorities they're not required to be thugs they're not required to be super tall or you know super slick they're not they're not expected to be walking around with 15 inches they're not they're not you don't don't you're not facing that bruv like you don't have these specific stereotypes in the media which are always bombarded and pushed out to say that the black man is this guy do you know say like it's different it's different you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Um, another issue is when you're dealing with non-black women. Ooh. <laughs> Outside of the community. Yeah? Outside of the community. That's a, diff that's a, a new set of problems, bruv. Because guess what? In my opinion, and you don't have to agree with this, and let's get the likes up on the video. Let's get the super chats up on the video. Um, also, if you want to hit the cash app, if you can't hit super chat, cash app's right here. Pound sign King Riches one. Hit the cash app. Yeah. The other side of it, you want to do IR dating, bro. Bro, that's gonna be difficult as well. You know what I'm saying? Like majority of non-black women are not inclined. Listen to the words I'm using. They are not inclined to go and date a black man. Think about it from their point of view. Think about it from their angle. They have, they have men of their own communities 
who are perceived to be of a higher caliber and who pound for pound socioeconomically are usually doing better. Now, remember, there's a thing called hypergamy. So a woman of another ethnic group, why would they overlook the men of their own ethnic group to specifically go and date you, bro? Think about it. And if you've got something to say to me in the chat, hit the super chat. I'm not going to address what you say because you think you're special. You can hit the super chat just like everyone else did. At the end of the day, most people, most in most communities, in most, most ethnic groups, people couple up with their own. That is that is is not up for discussion, bro. Any 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 rebuttal to that is delusion and and just ridiculous. Most people within their own ethnic group will date and couple up and have families with their own. There's no argument there. There's no argument there. I don't care who Kanye West had, had kids with. I don't care who Travis Scott had kids with. I don't care who your favourite rapper, uh, um, footballer, basketball player, boxer, who they had kids with, I, who your favourite actor. I don't care, bruv, because they are outliers. Number one, those people in the, in the public eye those celebrities or whatever, you call them celebrities, I, don't, I just see them as normal people, they are outliers. They don't represent, they don't represent even 5%. So referencing them I think, or using them as some kind of measuring stick is, is, is silly. So again, so again, and I know there's going to be some some black guys out there that don't like to hear that because they're all about IR dating. And, you know, I don't care. You know, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do, bro. Do whatever makes you happy, bro. But at the same time, yeah, the, the reality is the reality. And you can, you can argue it all you want, but all you got to do is step outside. Guess what? When you step outside... Of course, you're going to see mixed couples, but the majority of the couples, the man and the woman are going to be of the same ethnic group. <laughs> so you, what are you going to do? Argue with all of them? Silly, bruv. And I'm not telling, I'm not here to tell anybody who they should be with. I'm just reporting reality. So... As I'm saying, <laughs> majority of non-black women are not going to be inclined to date black guys seriously. Now, there's a difference between messing around or experimenting to I am going to be in a relationship with this person walk around with this person, introduce this person to my family and friends and walk, walk down the street hand in hand, kissing, all of that stuff. Bro, there's a difference, bro. There's a difference between that and somebody that calls you up at 11, 30, 12 o'clock, come around my house and let's have fun. It's difference. There's a difference, bro. See, the problem is with a lot of black guys is that a lot of black guys are happy to you know be used because at the end of the day most of us guys you know we measure our manhood by the amount of uh, uh notches we have on the bedpost so obviously when, when when you realize that you know a lot of guys are going to be happy just to sleep with certain people but at the same time you just don't really see the reality because when it comes and i'm not saying all i'm not saying all but at many many occasions yeah they might mess around with you but when it comes to settle down bro you 
No, bruv. Unless you're doing very well, unless you're very, very successful, or maybe she's just one of those girls that are, you know, she, she doesn't see colour. Yeah? They do exist. I know a few. But on the whole, because we know most people couple up with their own, we have to we have to just take on board the truth that, yeah, like, you're going to come across a lot of non-black women that, yeah, they, they've seen the stereotypes. You know, remember, all black men are the same. So whatever they've seen, these these crazy extreme superpowers, they want they might want to experiment with that, bruv. They might want to have a go. You know? You might be that guy that they just find attractive for no reason and then boom, they, they want to, you know, sleep with you a couple times and then boom, move on. Now, I'm not, I'm not here, listen, I'm not here to tell you, you guys what to do. I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. I'm just saying, be aware of the possibilities. Be aware of the possibilities. Yeah, hold on. So yeah, boom. Hold on. To get rid of certain Yeah. I'll say this average black guy. How many times, yeah, let me ask you lot everyone watching, how many times have you seen an average, average, flat, plain average black guy with a super hot non-black chick like a like a eight a strong eight out of ten non-black chick white girl asian indian whatever how many times bro how many times have you seen an average the guy is straight five five looks you know, average height, so that's what, five foot nine, five foot ten, five foot nine. You know, average money, and he's with a smoking hot non black chick. Furthermore, when have you seen an, a, a flat line average black guy with a smoking hot black chick, bruv? <laughs> Brother! Brother! How many times, bro? Yeah, it's rare at best. Rare. <laughs> Think about it. Average, you know, an average black guy. No drip. You know, normal car. Or maybe he doesn't have a car. Just a normal nine to five job. He's not especially good looking. He's not especially tall, you know. Bro. With a hot black girl? With... Bro. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Why do you think why do you think all these high value man content creators they expressively tell you go and get your money up, bruv? <laughs> why do you think that is? Because they they know that for you as an average guy to go and get a, a hot chick, whether she's black or non-black, it's is pretty much gonna be impossible, bruv. <laughs> Maybe if you're in some Maybe you, if you're in some third world black country, you could do it where the economy is low. Yeah, maybe you could do it there. Like you could be making average money, you know, whether it's in dollars or pounds, go, go to somewhere in Africa, go to somewhere in the Caribbean and then be, you know, then you'd be like balling. Cool. Now, that might not work in Nigeria because uh, there's people, there's a lot of guys in Nigeria that got money, bro. So you might, you might get caught out over there. But you go into one of these other black countries where the economy's crap, bro, like, yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but in the US and the UK, bro, if you're an average black guy and you're not really trying to up your game in, in any of the power concepts that I talk about, bro, you better just, you better just uh, settle with an average chick. Very average, just uh, average. Average. 
you get what I'm saying? Like, car, bro, it ain't gonna work, bro. So, I, I, what, now, think about it. When you do see a black guy and he's with a hot chick, what do you notice? They got some kind of superpower, bro. They got some kind of superpower going on, like. It's either the black guys won the genetic lottery or the guy the, the guy's got money, bro. It's usually one of those two, bro. It's, 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 it's either um, resources or genetics, bro. Or a mix of both. <laughs> or a mix of both, bro. Now, when we look at, let's say, white guys. Oh, yes. You will see average at best white guys with decent looking girls. Sometimes you see them with hot chicks, bro. Press one in the chat if you agree. Press two in the chat if you disagree, bro. Press one in the chat if you agree that yes, you will see white dudes or other non-black dudes who are average looking, average everything, and they will have, you know, they will have decent looking. I'm not saying they're going to have the hottest girls in their community, but they will have decent looking girls, like, decent. You know, all right looking. Like, that, that is a common thing, bro. I see that all the time. I see that every day, bro, like. Like, you will see... You'll see non-black guys, especially white, yeah, where, where they are sub five in looks or whatever. And they will always have a girl with them. Like, if they really go out to go and get a girl, they will get a girl. That The girl might be, you know, the same looks level as him. But that actually works, like. But for us now... <laughs> <laughs> You be, you, yeah, you go and be a sub five black guy, bruh. So we're not even talking about average. We're, we're talking about below average black guy. Yeah, you're, you're, you've got a hard road, bruv. And I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not here to, I'm not one of these guys that talk about it's over. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you're going to have a hard road, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's mad like that. Let me just uh, catch up with the super chat quickly. Um, let me see. All right, big up Daniel. He says black men stick with black women most of the time. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yeah, that bro. That as I said, most ethnic groups, most communities, you know, usually couple up within their own community. That's a standard thing. Like now, nah, you know, I'm not against IR dating. I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. I'm not. I've done it. You know all of that yeah i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just set i'm just making the the point i'm just stating the reality in it like do you get what i'm saying uh big up kbtv ir dating depends on the individual as a black man you need to be the best candidate to the girl tallest richest most attractive best drip best eh, um that <laughs> funniest and best in something else that is true like at the end of the day when you're dealing with a chick, she will usually select you if you are the best candidate. I agree with that. I, I agree with that. Absolutely. Um, big up to uh, John Creed for the super chat. He says, I think long term because I think long term because black men have a harder time with women versus non-black men. Um, ha uh, black men have better strategy than non-black men. I know white guys who wise off three or fours. This is the thing like. It's not a coincidence why there's so many, like, black male dating coaches and why they're so successful on YouTube. <laughs> there's, there, it's not a coincidence. It's not a fluke. It's because black guys, we have to have game. We have to know what we're doing when we're dating because we're playing from behind. <laughs> we're starting the race from behind, bro. Like, so we have to know exactly what we're doing. Do you get what I'm saying? We need to understand what female nature and what how they tick and what's their motivators and what's their triggers, etc, etc. We have to know this stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, 
We don't have, we're not depicted as Iron Man and Captain America and James Bond. Do you get what I'm saying? We don't get the, the, that positive uh, reinforcement. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, big up Michael Metro for another super, super chat. He says likes are free. Absolutely, man. Get the likes up on the video. I appreciate that. Yo, let's get the likes up, man. Hey, at least we should get at least 50 of you in here could hit the like button right now, man. Come on. Don't mess about. At least 50 of you can hit the like button right this second, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, big up to Devonte Bell for the PayPal donation. I see you, my bro. Big up Devonte for the PayPal donation. Appreciate that. All right, cool. So another aspect of um, when, when black guys or the average black guy does the interracial thing, yeah? What I've noticed is when I do see an average black guy with a non-black chick, usually the chick is not all that, bro. Let's keep it a buck, bro. Even I've seen, I've seen, I've seen black guys who I would say they are above average in looks, and they'll still be with a with a non-black chick that's not all that. And I'm I'm not joking, I'm not capping at all, bro. Listen, press one in the chat if you if you have seen that yourself, bro. Where you've seen a black guy who who on the looks test he looks like, bro. You could you could probably pull some nice looking girls, and you've seen him with a non black chick, and the girls just not all that, bro. Like there's something missing, bro. <laughs> you get me? And it just makes me scratch my head. I'm like, what what is going on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is this, bro? Like, bruh. I don't know, fam. Like, I don't know. I just I just think it's really weird. Like, and a lot of times, like, I could tell you from personal experience, yeah? A lot of times, as a black guy, and, and to be honest, I would say that I'm probably above average. Not probably. I am above average. Do you know what I'm saying? Above average height, you know, um, I get money, I'm not broke, like, I can pretty much buy what I want, um, you know, whatever, good looking, like, a lot of people have said, yeah, I don't really look at myself as good looking, but a lot of people said I'm good looking, and I'm talking about women, right, um, in real life, not just, not just <laughs> in the chat or whatever, but even with that being said, yeah, I've had non-black women who are obviously not on my looks level come up to me boldly with confidence and ex and, and and expect me to want to have entanglements with them. And what that lets me know is that yeah, this is a normal thing that goes on. Like this is a standard thing like a lot of these, a lot of these non-black chicks that are not all that, they feel like, rah, well, I'm, I'm probably not getting that much attention from the men in my own community, but I sure as hell know I can get the attention of black guys. Think about that, bro. Think about it. And then think about every single time you've seen a black guy and he's with a non-black chick that's not all that. Because my opinion is this, like, if, if you see a black guy with a black chick that's not all that, I kind it, it makes more sense. Now listen, listen to what I'm saying carefully. If you see a black guy with, an, with a black girl and she's not all that, it makes more sense than if you see a black guy with a non-black chick that's not all that. That's just my personal opinion. Like, my personal opinion is this, like, as a black guy... For me personally, you would you wouldn't see me with a non-black chick that men of her own group are avoiding. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like you won't see me with a non-black chick that men of her own group are avoiding <laughs> or rejecting. No, you will see me you will see me with a non-black chick that men of her own community would like to date do you get what i'm saying and i think a lot of brothers don't really have that kind of mindset 
And that's why a lot of them are just like, oh, yeah, I've got me a Becky. Oh, wow, yes. But she's not... She's not all that, bro. Like, a lot of times... She might not be sub five, but she's basic, bro. Like... Basic, basic, basic. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just my mindset towards it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, be that as it may, yeah. All I'm saying is that I feel like for black guys, black, the majority of black guys are not going to be Tyrone's. All right? The majority of black guys are not going to be super athletes, elite athletes. The majority of black guys are not going to be rappers or entertainers or uh, money-making career criminals. The average black guy is going to be an average guy, average height, average looks, average money, bruv. Average car, average lifestyle, bruv. But for some reason... The average woman doesn't see him as valuable. And I think that is very sad, bro. And then, again, as I'm saying, when you look across the board, you look at men of other ethnicities, they are allowed to be average and still date and date effectively and date successfully. I told you this already. I know a guy, a white boy, yeah? He lives near me. Bro, he's got missing teeth. Teeth rotted out from smoking and probably drinking alcohol and all of that nonsense, bro. He's got two baby mothers. Not one, two. He's got two baby mothers. This guy, he. But when he, he looks like he's ill. He's like skinny. Like, he looks like he's ill, bro. And he's got two baby mamas, bro. Like, I, I have another friend who... And get the likes up on the video. Get up to 350. Yeah, get the likes up. Get up to 350. Right now. Also... If you haven't hit the super chat, any of you that haven't hit the super chat but enjoyed this content, yeah, or you believe in what I'm saying, hit the super chat, hit the cash app. Cash app's right here. Pound sign King Rich is one. Support the real man. I got another friend, yeah. Another white guy. He is legit a bin man, a trash man, bruv. You know the guy. They'll be still be hanging off the, the the side of the 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 uh bin the bin van, <laughs> the truck. He's on the side, bruv. Hop off, get your trash from outside your house. Throw it in the back of the truck and then hop back on. And he's holding on, bro. I seen him pull one of the baddest bees I've uh, bruh. One of the baddest white girls I've ever seen, bro. Like she she bruh. She was like she was like an Instagram chick, bro. And she had, the, she had the body of a black, like a curvy black chick, bro. Big back, all of that. Sexy face, all of that. He went to the club. He was wearing a Nike hoodie. Nike, normal, bro. Normal Nike hoodie, bro, yeah. <laughs> Jeans, black 90, Air Max 95s. He went in the club, got the girl. They smashed the same Nike, bro. This is real, true stories, bro. I don't need to make up nothing, bro. And he, he didn't know the girl, bruv. He didn't know the girl, bruv. Like, bro. He can only be making average money, bro. Like, average. He do, he's not making... He's not six figures, bro. And guess what? The girl was still chasing after him after, bruv. He didn't even want the girl no more. How many... How many black guys that are bin man? Have that kind of story, bro. How many black guys that are trash collectors have that kind of story, bro? How many, bro? Because I don't know any, bro. <laughs> I know black guys that are rappers that have that kind of story. I know black guys that are athletes that have that kind of story. 
I know black guys that are really, really good looking that have that kind of story. But a bin man? And I'll give it to I'll give it to my my boy, my friend. You know, he's got a beard. You know, I, I, as I said many times, most white guys, yeah, in my opinion, even if they're average, all you need is a beard, sunglasses, and confidence. That's that's your game right there, bruv. Just have a beard, sunglasses, <laughs> and confidence, and you should be able to get any girl you want. <laughs> And that's, and that's why, on another note, as a black guy, you should never take dating advice from anybody who ain't black. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Actually, make that too. You should never take dating advice from anyone that's not black. And you should, you should only take dating advice from guys. So, that narrows it down to you, you, as a black person, as a black guy, only take dating advice from other black guys. Preferably other black guys that are close to you and can relate to your experience. You know, it will be kind of redundant for you as an average black guy to go and take dating advice from a guy like LeBron James. <laughs> it would be silly, bruv. Oh, I'm going to take dating advice from, from um, Kodak Black. <laughs> You know, like, bruh, think about it. Think it through. Get what I'm saying? Like, I know, uh, bruh, where I live, I see, like, I see, like, like white guys and they're short. Their girlfriends will be taller than them. I see white guys that are out totally out of shape. They'll have women. And I'm not saying they'll have the, the hottest chicks with them, but they got a woman with them, bruh. Got woman with them. You see all these young boys, yeah, all these young boys, face full of pimples, skinny, with their little fake designer clothes and fake designer <laughs> man bag. They got all these little girls with them, bruv. Then when you see the black boys, unless the black boy is really making peas or he's got some street cred or he's really good looking or something pop popularity or something bruv bruh it's not the same levels bruv it's not the same level of success i'm not saying it's impossible i'm not saying it's impossible because it's not impossible yeah but it's it's harder it's hardest hardest do you get what i'm saying real talk man Real talk. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, like, in, from my experience, from, from my own life, yeah, like, I started off, I was a nice guy, yeah, and obviously when I was younger, I wasn't as tall as I am now. I wasn't the build that I am now. I was pretty much, I, I was one of the taller ones and one of the bigger ones, like, in high school, but, you know, there was plenty of boys that, you know, that was bigger, taller, whatever, or cooler. You know, they they were more hood than I am. You know, they was more popular on the street and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, they, they did way more than I did. They, they got more attention from girls way more than I did, fam. You know what I'm saying? So... Is where it is, fam. For me personally, I noticed the, the 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 turning point when I started to become more successful with girls. Yeah, is when I started to just be. <laughs> let's put it like this: I, I I just stopped being a nice guy, bro. I, that's when I started to take on the bad boy persona. That's when you know I started to gravitate more to hood life, thug life, kind of energy more aggressive you know the stereotypes basically the 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 street street boy st stereotype when i started to adopt that that's when miraculously girls seem to like me bro i to all that church boy romantic thing bro i had to i'm unfortunately and i'm not saying this is right or wrong but i had to give it up bro 
I had to give the I don't give a F attitude. That had to be at the front. You had to be able to see that on me. And that was the same for most of the people I knew, bro. Most of the boys that I saw, black boys that I saw that were the most successful with girls, they had the same thug street energy, bro. Unless, or if it wasn't that, they were just good looking guys. But in other communities, you know, I got I got Asian friends, I got white friends, you know, but even from school, they wasn't particularly bad, they weren't particularly rich, they weren't particularly anything, and you know, they could still get girls, girls just like them, like, you know. That's just the way it is, fam. That is just the way it is. Anyway, man. I think this has been a really good informative live stream yeah this was really uh yeah this was really good i big up michael for the super super chat he says nice guys finish last always big facts king riches yeah it's an and it's an unfortunate fun thing but it's just the facts now i, I say this i think that you could you should be an a good person yeah Cause even in my in my phases of being a bad boy or whatever, I was still I've always been a good good guy. I've never gone fully gone down the road of yeah, like life is cheap and I don't care if I hurt people and stuff like that. I've always kind of been, I guess, being raised the way I was in the church and stuff like that. So I've always got had that conscience inside me in it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's mad because like. Because think about it. Think about our... Com think, if you think about the black community, a lot of times we're very attracted to negative things and, and evil things. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, think about the music. The music is all about what who can be the most evil. <laughs> listen to your favourite rapper's lyrics. Don't, or listen to the most popular rapper's lyrics. You know, all of it is talking about who can be the most evil. And the more, the more evil you can... Speak, talk or the more bad things you've actually done in real life the more credit you get the more pedestalization you get the more respect you get and that's totally backwards like most black movies are all the same you know oh fuck life oh street oh gangs oh, like, like you bro again the way uh, black guys are perceived in 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 reality is as a monolith yeah as a monolith we're all seen as the same guy so you know if you if and this and that that monolith that monolith character or archetype is a superhero a super fuck super athlete super fuck super entertainer super rich super strong super super tall black guy and if you don't if you don't have at least a few of those qualities then you don't matter you know and all of this nonsense and it's just sad bro it's just sad at this point do you get what i'm saying but anyway listen i'm about to end it now yeah i think this has been uh, a really good one i want to end it at a, a reasonable time yeah make sure that you um send me the videos that you want me to do reactions to send them to my instagram ambitions of power if you see any videos online that you want to you want me to do a reaction to send them to my instagram ambitions of power make sure you do that yeah all right big up unique for the 50 pound super chat look at that big up unique man um king riches men of all races are finding it hard today it had Become a serious numbers and volume game. High patience is required in the game because many women turn down good men. Go where you are appreciated and wanted, gentlemen. Absolutely. Big up, Unique, man. And I really appreciate that because Unique a, a is a non-black guy. Do you get what I'm saying? So I really appreciate that, you know, he's listened to the material and then he's added his feedback. Like, that's really big, man. I appreciate you, my bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I think... I was meant to do a calling show today. I think I'll do the calling show tomorrow. Yeah? Or if not, if I don't do the calling show tomorrow, I will 100% do it on Monday. Yeah? So make sure you're, you're keeping your eyes peeled for that. Also, listen. If you're new to my channel, make sure 
you subscribe to the channel and if you are subscribed new or already make sure that you have the notification bell ringing on my video so you don't miss any of the content over here it's very important yeah because YouTube will not show my video to you. So make sure you have the notification bell ringing. And always check back. Go watch all my other videos. Go and like all my other videos. Please leave a sensible comment underneath this video as well. Sensible. Yeah. I don't want people writing out of line things in my chat or in my comment section no more. Alright. Please do me that favour. If you haven't hit the like button yet, hit the like button now. Don't forget to do that. Listen. It's King Riches signing out. Take care of yourselves. We out. Peace.